uh, Olympic recurve archery uh, influenced my traditional archery and how I shoot. That's how I learned archery, pretty much watching uh, Olympic recurve archers, more specifically the Koreans, um, and studying like, the shot cycle, the KSL shot cycle by Coach Kisik Lee of the US Olympic team, uh, who himself is also Korean. And funny note about the KSL shot cycle, if you guys are familiar with it. If you're not, you should look it up. It's actually, you know, it's what I base my shot cycle on. Um, to make a long story short, so I don't have to explain it. <laughs> These are my first shots of the day. I'll be going through my shot process, my shot cycle, going through every step, but skipping the aiming. Uh, I won't be aiming. I'll just try to keep my form as correct as possible and aligned. Uh, I uh, lift my bow arm and draw back. I'm just trying to have the same spot I'm lifting up to, have the same timing, drawing back and releasing. I'm not aiming. If you have perfect form or good form, not perfect form, if you have good form, a repeatable shot, repeatable shot cycle, that means you should be lifting your bow up and drawing back to the same spot every time. Like you lift your bow up, your bow arm up to the same spot, pull back, release. So with that in mind, your arrow is going to essentially hit the same spot 
every time if you were to just lift your arm up, pull back and release without thinking about it, without even aiming. Just try to pull back to where you'll have like your arms are level and you're making your A-frame, pull back and release it. Don't think about it. That's essentially what I was doing. I was not aiming. I was just pulling back to my normal spot that I felt comfortable, but was in equilibrium, pulled back and I released and just let go. It's my first shot of the day. I'm not aiming. I purposely had the target set up this high because I know approximately where that spot is. Okay, I'm essentially gonna do the same thing on the second end. I'm just gonna lift up, pull back, and release. I'm not gonna aim. I'm just gonna run through the shot camera really quick, try to just uh, speed through this. Uh, just to get to the third part of the video, which is where I'll be aiming. So you know, stay to the end of that if you wanna see the result. You really gotta watch the end of the video. <laughs> Shot before the last one, I rushed my shot cycle. I rushed my draw and I rushed the release because the shot before that, the bow started feeling really heavy. My elbow was aching and my, I dropped my arm. So the shot after, I was trying to avoid that achy elbow by rushing through the shot. And rushing through the shot, I plucked, and arrow went to the right. And then I followed up with a normal shot, normal timing, and got back on to the pyramid. The low shot is one where I, my arm, it hurt. It, it was hard to draw the bow back and I, I felt it in my elbow. And when I released my, my, I wasn't even up to the spot where I should be. And that's one where the bow drawing back felt way too heavy. So when I got it back to release, I felt like I was really straining. And that strain caused my bow arm to jump up at release because I was feeling overbowed at the moment. That's why I flew knock fly out, lost another LED knock. Uh, make sure they're in there tight. It'll cause flyers and lose them. Okay, we're gonna aim this time.
elbow really started hurting there. <laughs> Uh, the one shot that went way over was the black arrow, the red fletchings. It was really weird. I brought it up, looking down, went to aim, and it's all of a sudden like everything went black in my view when I released. Something about the color of the arrow or something. And dusk, it was like light changing, playing like tricks in my eyes. I was aiming for the target, everything's going left. So I don't know what's up with that. So is that me or the arrows? I don't know. But I mean, the group is definitely there. <laughs> like, I'm, Going, aiming for there, I'm hitting that. I don't know what's going on there. Could be my arm, I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, not that much better than when I'm not aiming, right? I mean, I mean yeah, they're grouped, but I mean, that aiming doesn't have that much of an effect on your shot compared to your form, in my opinion. Like, I mean, that, that's why the, the Korean uh, recurve Olympic archers throughout their training, it's really the focus is on form. Uh, light draw weights and years and years of just pulling arrows back and perfecting your form, not really caring, not me not caring, but like not really being concerned of where the arrow is hitting, but making sure your form is good. And then your arrow getting on target is just a consequence of your form being good. <laughs> so. Wolf spider living in the camping chair. Looks like it's got a little egg sack. Little baby's coming soon. So we're just gonna leave her be. Funny note KSL shot cycle by Coach Kissick Lee, the USA archery team. Coach Kissick Lee is Korean himself. Sure, there's got to be some influence there, <laughs> All right? So if we look at the Korean Olympic recurve archers and their shot cycle. You, know, you don't really see a difference between them and the USA archery team. It's got the same steps as the KSL shot cycle. One big difference, though: stance. KSL shot cycle calls for open stance. Koreans use closed stance. So. I'll let the Olympic medals and scores speak for themselves of which you think you should choose. 